This week we've been highlighting the dangers of vapes in our schools, which could be laced with THC, even fentanyl. Tonight, the superintendent of Baldwin County Public Schools is issuing an urgent plea to parents of all students, asking them to help prevent tragedy. He said this is an issue close to his own heart. NBC 15's Corey Pippen has our story. Superintendent Eddie Tyler held a press conference about the issue this week, but this email was more personal. A reference Tyler's own experience losing a child. The fight against vaping in local schools continues, but it's no longer just about preventing nicotine addiction in children. Please don't mistake our message today as your traditional drug awareness event, because it's not. That was Baldwin County Public School Superintendent Eddie Tyler on Monday, and in an emotional letter emailed to parents today, Tyler says in part, quote, I don't want a single child to be hurt. I lost my youngest child to a traffic accident when he was a high schooler. I do not want any parent to ever have to suffer that tragedy. I wish my concern was just about vaping, but is much greater and more serious than that. THC is also frequently being injected into vapes, and unfortunately, that is also not the worst of what is happening. These vape kits are also being injected with a drug called fentanyl. Authorities blame fentanyl for a rise in overdose deaths both locally and throughout the state outside of schools. In schools, investigators say a Mary G. Montgomery student died in September from fentanyl, which she had told relatives was present in vape devices on campus. And earlier this month, a 16-year-old Selma student died from an overdose at school, again likely caused by fentanyl. Superintendent Tyler's letter also details the district's response, saying in part, quote, Earlier this year, we began provisioning Narcan kits and training staff in all of our schools. What's worse is we are now deploying these units to our elementary schools. At Fairhope High School, vape monitors have been installed to catch and deter kids from vaping. If the program is successful, the district says they'll be installed in all high schools. This is a wake-up call to our Baldwin County communities about what is happening with this very deadly trend. Superintendent Tyler also points out that many teenagers will likely have less supervision during the holidays. And he's asking parents to ask them what they're seeing in school, talk to them about vaping, and fentanyl. In Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.